You've heard, of course, that no two snowflakes are the same. Each one carries a special beauty. But Seth Doan tells us we might not have known that if it weren't for the snowflake man. In places like Vermont this time of year, the treetops really can glisten. But even here, where wintry nostalgia is part of the landscape, few remember one Vermonter's passion for snow. Wilson Bentley was born the year the Civil War ended. But by the early 1900s, he was known the world over as the Snowflake Man the first person ever to photograph microscopic images of snowflakes. They were delicate, stunning, and complex. People still find them lacy and ephemeral. They just really speak to people in a beautiful way. Wayne Howe preserves the legacy of the snowflake man at the Jericho, Vermont Historical Society in the town's Old Red Mill. Here is Bentley's first microscope, a childhood gift from his mother, and the camera that he jerry-rigged to photograph more than 5,000 images of snow crystals. When the snows came, he had a black board. It was actually a tray. And the snowflakes would fall on that tray, and then with a feather, he would kind of rifle through, and then he would pick that up with the edge of the feather, because if he picked it up with his finger, it would melt, put it on the slide, a, a glass slide, put that under the microscope, and then he could photograph it. In the 1920s, Bentley's life work was finally discovered, published worldwide, and celebrated in National Geographic. After an especially ambitious snowflake safari in 1931, Bentley caught a bad cold, which developed quickly into pneumonia. And two days before Christmas, the snowflake man passed away at the family home. The sum of his story is that perseverance matters. Perseverance makes a difference. If you pick something you love and you keep doing it over the course of your lifetime, uh, that's, that's what makes life really satisfying. Tucked away in a discreet corner of the town cemetery, Bentley's grave is marked fittingly by the humblest of stones. It is, however, surrounded by a beautiful blanket of snow. Seth Doan, CBS News, New York.